Hello there, this anonymous oracle here with a <laughs> eclipse reading, a solar eclipse reading. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time specific or sign specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. I am under the weather, but it was worth it because I swam with dolphins. And I dove under the water, y'all. And I don't know if it was maybe something in the water just did not mesh well with me. And my immune system was probably down a notch because I have been very busy and overactive than usual. I got really, really sick. But it was totally worth it. Those dolphins were amazing. And it was so sweet to see how curious they were. Because where they are, it's like, um, it's like a sanctuary that connects to the ocean. And they are allowed to like go out into the ocean, supervised, and come back around. So it's like a, it's like a sea aquarium, <laughs> but for dolphins. And they're well trained. Um, you can tell they're not under any stress. And I could sense like one of them was called Cayena. I could sense that she was like <laughs> just doing what she needed to do because she had a treat coming. Like I could feel them. It was so weird how I could literally just tap into the animal's emotions so strongly just by touching on her and um, diving around with her. It was really, really awesome. So I might share some pictures with you guys. Um, maybe even here as I'm speaking. It was just so much fun. So that's a little bit of what I wanted to share with you guys <sighs> all right I have a core memory there with my dad so I'm very glad I get to do that let's see what the energies have for us today I do feel like the energy is dense since this solar eclipse um, we're gonna see a time for healing I'm almost feeling like a forced energy like you're forced to look at something Maybe there are things bubbling up to the surface that have maybe been a little bit more dormant in the emotional body. I'm getting like this thing where it's like, you're gonna see. <laughs> you're gonna see what requires healing. Maybe people are more motivated to change than ever before. Meditate and contemplate. I get this vibe of people being encouraged to ground themselves because of what's going on energetically. Like you're gonna want to just marinate in the energies that are currently going on maybe some people are looking for closure and are looking for answers on how to transition to their next phase in life i also get like yin and yang energy for some reason maybe people are going to learn to zoom out and look at the bigger picture in some kind of relationship in their life it's also going to help give them a sense of direction. So if something feels like a micro problem, it's like, is it really that relevant when you zoom out and look at the bigger picture? I might sniffle during this reading and I might sneeze during this reading. So just a little heads up, okay? Because I'm feeling it coming on. When I look at these fish, it reminds me of those koi fish and typically they're like black and white, right? I just thought of yin and yang. Duality. Look at the bigger picture. Some people are going to start planning for their next course of action, even where their abundance is concerned. What else does my collective need to be made aware of concerning this energy? I have already kind of posted an eclipse season reading, but seeing we're like right in it, <laughs> it's best to post it now. What do I need to know? Uh -huh. mending in the reverse on top of that yin and yang vibe that I got ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm hearing Tasha's song promise me no promises <laughs> shout out to I'm possible there's some kind of connection that is being severed and maybe even energetically it could start that way yes because someone is so done of repetitive patterns let me put this on silent it's insane. Round and round we go on this little merry-go-round. It is in the reverse. This is telling me that some people, they're like, <laughs> talking about you burnt the bridge 
this is the conclusion there's no going back some people are very firm on not reconciling with certain people from their past mending in the reverse because they refuse to go another merry-go-round with an energy that may be they feel there are irreconcilable differences with interesting yeah i feel this being something a person is thinking about a lot it's like well given that next step in my life given that next chapter is this person gonna make it or not is this person gonna go with me there or not number 44 is a big number on like foundations and protection so i feel like someone is thinking and trying to do what's in their best interest given the next phase in their life and with that comes a sense of contemplation and maybe even severing ties with the past yes i see somebody really focused on re regrowing like um regenerating their energy yes but it's an energy of feeling reborn okay it's like from the ashes <laughs> comes this beautiful tree and um making the best of what happened the fates it almost smacked me it's like i'm hearing something about something's already written based on people's choices it's kind of like the way things are going to pan out right now is based on choices that you've either previously made or are making um concerning all involved it's faded so people could be feeling redirected on paths that they were already written to um go down okay and people might be watching this it's kind of like i see an energy of curiosity curiosity i see somebody curious to how you've managed to do certain things how this has come about but it's written so you you are maybe <laughs> drawing in some peering eyes some curious eyes in this process as you go down your faded timeline we have a yang to peace wow so for a lot of you you are only accepting the opposite energy so whether you are a feminine you're attracting masculine if you are a masculine you could be attracting feminine doesn't matter your gender i'm seeing that people here are it's like but do you help me gain regain or not even that do you help me uh, or aid to my peace in some way it's like are you sweeter than my solitude are you sweeter than my peace it's like i'm getting this vibe of peace i'm also hearing the word peacemaker maybe somebody wants to make peace okay um i'm seeing somebody being like picky choosy like yeah you want to pursue yang style remember how i said yin and yang it's like yeah there's a pursuing energy however do you aid to my peace i'm hearing holy spirit activate 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 <laughs> so random so there's an energy surging through here why is yang here a leg up in the reverse omg somebody here might feel like the crutch they once had the support they once had of the counterpart no longer is the case i see a leg up in the reverse it's giving you got to figure it out on your own bud and the higher power has something to do with that so maybe people in this season are going through a phase where they need to figure it out on their own a leg up in the reverse i'm just seeing this energy like okay so what are you going to do now what are you going to do now now that you not you do not have this crutch you do not have this leg to stand on that's kind of wild why is that is, what <laughs> wow because they were not honoring their higher calling some of you might have a lot of questions for the universe like why is this happening to me because you didn't answer the call we have why in the reverse why is like you see the book of life that book has wings it's special <laughs> and it's like somebody did not ask the right questions they had maybe little interest in figuring out what something of great purpose entailed so it's like, well, now that the ground got rug from, um, like now the rug got pulled from underneath you, what are you going to do? Because someone feels lost now. I get this energy of a person not realizing something was of high importance until the opportunity to pursue it has been ripped away. That's what it feels like. It's like, well, maybe you should have asked questions sooner why why is this happening to me why do i not have this crutch whatever the crutch is the crutch could be a connection the crutch could be a person the crutch could be the opportunity to pursue something fabulous but a person did not and i feel someone might be like upset with the divine it's like angry with god but it's like why 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 well 
again <laughs> someone has questions but it's like you should have cared to ask sooner because i feel this vibe of an energy it could be a divine masculine collective no longer having the support energetically that they once had from their counterpart that's what i'm feeling why imagine in the reverse with no place like home this is someone who maybe had a very narrow-minded this collective then again not throwing any shade some an energy here had a bit of a like a, a narrow-minded approach to what could have been with imagine in the reverse it's like that lack of opening your mind to other possibilities in life so maybe someone had a very in the box kind of mindset or they're like oh i'm going to stick to the devil i know kind of behavior or it's like oh that's too good to be true kind of stuff it's a very restricting mindset that a person had not to feel like there was stability in what the divine was trying to show them it's like without it's not within reach right somebody saw this home this peace this sense of like stability um and maybe a connection they didn't think it was obtainable all right maybe they thought it was too fruity and too good to be true and no 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 no. and that's exactly why they missed out okay for a lot of you you might feel like there are no ir there are irreconcilable differences okay for some and that's not for all my nose is itching <laughs> oh man really itchy what now i'm hearing what now when i said the world Oof, cycles closing out i heard what now maybe somebody is is looking at the bigger picture here i'm hearing finally angel of balance yeah um balance is being restored here by a new door opening up for someone romantically so other opportunities are going to start flowing in uh, current divine counterpart past divine counterpart soulmate whatever concern there's <laughs> new doors new people new energies being introduced to restore balance in and i'm hearing a miserable cycle it's kind of sad i see man holding a coin masculine collectives could be in an energy where they're trying to decide where to plant their next seeds for the future with a man holding a coin it's an energy of wanting to offer something very valuable and these collect this collective is probably looking looking for that next best thing to ground okay tell me more about this man holding a coin why is this masculine collective looking so intentionally at who and what they're going to invest in next <laughs> let's see <laughs> funny crown chakra using their brains that is so hilarious <laughs> it's like oh by the way they're actually trying to make wise decisions i can't help my sarcasm anyway the crown chakra uh this is archangel uriel it's like someone here has learned they have learned valuable lessons on what to invest their energy time and precious resources in someone has upgraded mentally and it's like, I'm trying to be smarter in what I choose or who I choose to invest in this time around, this season around. So there are masculines who are trying to be smarter with their money, smarter with their investments, smarter with their inheritance, all this stuff. Okay, it's giving who makes the cut, who is deserving. Maybe somebody is trying to strategize how to gain more money, how to ground themselves. I'm hearing to be an eligible bachelor. Okay, impressive. For some, some are all caught up in this, in this energy of wanting to make, it's like they might feel restricted from offering something great. And that's why they're fixated on it. Maybe they're like, oh, my money needs to be like this, or I need to be like that. Yeah, strategy in the reverse. Maybe some of them need a better plan here. Yeah, because a lot of them do want that four. Number four is very significant. 43, 41, four. I saw 44. The number four is very significant. It's about a stable future, a stable foundation. Yep, blossoming abundance. The opportunity energy is there. I guess it's just up to each individual and how they choose to apply themselves. Okay. And even their strength to overcome adversities. What do we need to know here? Collectively. Beautiful. There could also be a masculine collective in a lot of regret and sadness. Every time I hear these dogs howling, 
I think about a masculine collective crying. <laughs> it's been happening for the last three weeks or through a month at least. And it's never been this much. I'm like, well, there are more silence, sirens wailing. So that's probably why the dogs are like activated. <laughs> it's like, okay, pipe down. What do we need to know here? What do we need to know about these surrounding energies concerning this eclipse season? A lot of people could be bugging out nine swords, wrestling with the mind. <laughs> Chill out, don't get in nine swords. It's a lot, I'm hearing it's a lot. Ace of swords, for some, a lot of truths that are gonna come. From that mind ache, maybe a revelation occurs, okay? It's God's truth. Power. Ace of Wands. Activa. I'm here. Activa. Activated. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Someone has the hots for a person they consider their counterpart. When I see a man holding a coin, I see someone in regret about a person they consider like their person it's like i'm sad because this queen of pentacles really is the bee's knees again you do not need to be an earth sign for you to be this character it's like mother Teresa. it's nurturing it's grounded okay someone here is regretful maybe someone has turned their back on a person who didn't see their value before because the queen of pentacles is the queen of value as well with the ace of wands somebody here could be embarking on new beginnings whether it be projects maybe a new person and i see an energy that's very regretful for not having invested before it's like this regret is tethered to an offer that likely was not made the knight of coins is an offer slow but sturdy it usually can also be an offer of commitment. It's this one, really. Man holding a coin. This is a man holding a coin as well. Someone regrets their choices, okay? Yeah, this king of pentacles. There is some kind of guard standing between this king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. It's like this queen of pentacles is all the way over here <laughs> and there's a guard. Um, wow, wow, my finger is hurting. My finger is literally hurting. It just feels very weird stiff all of a sudden this is someone who someone here might have what is that thing called is it arthritis out of nowhere just a strange strenuous feeling this is someone who's really in their head really in their head about this offer somebody here could be thinking about kids somebody here could be thinking about new beginnings somebody here could be thinking about something i'm uh, this finger steady hurts y'all what kind of sensation is that i don't typically get that in my readings maybe someone was rejected because something wasn't enough initially it's like maybe this person tried to communicate maybe this person tried to make peace and maybe it wasn't reciprocated initially this is someone who's seeing the value in an in a opportunity now that it's not around. I promise you that's what I picked up on in the oracles. I don't know if you guys remember a download that I had was Beautiful Things That I've Got by Benson. It says, please don't take away these beautiful things that I got. Like, I want you, I need you, oh God. Please don't take away these beautiful things that I've got. So I feel like something was taken away from a person or the opportunity was stripped from them. Okay, somebody here could be trying to make wise investments. Um, somebody maybe here feels the pressure to consider a person. Making big decisions. Someone here might also be nervous that a person will end up with someone else. Because I'm getting that vibe, yeah? There's a single energy here. Tell me more. Yeah, some... Mm, I don't like that. Yo. <laughs> Somebody could be secretly secretly watching a person's residence. Like where it's giving, where do you live? Somebody could be looking at a per Now, either someone's like watching to see if a person's in a relationship, watching to see. It's giving old timeline merging with the new timeline. And it's giving Clash of the Titans, the Revenge of the Exes, the Return of the Ghosts of One's Past, just hovering. The moon speaks of myst mysteries. 
the page of swords is watchful and this can be a property for me or even a relationship like i feel a very strange energy that kind of flopped out here it's like what are you up to it's giving what are you doing what is your next move for some literal move maybe for some of you are moving moving and someone wants to know where you've moved to okay for for me to even bring that up my finger still hurts i don't typically get these kind of sensations i'm too young for that or maybe i'm not <laughs> it's like eh. weird sensation i usually get cramping in my toes because of the shoes i wear so you'll see my toes doing this <laughs> looking like goat feet <laughs> anyways tmi what is wrong with me what do i need to know for this collective message three of wands up and coming i see people looking for greener pastures turning their back on the past can't make it up being very reflective all you need to do right now is reflect on your lessons ground your energy and watch the energy propel you forward okay great stuff guys we have the five of wands yeah someone wants to put the drama behind them you see how this man is like i'm looking at the sun and there are energies of the past trying to fight okay so people from your past could be trying to fight to get back in your life whether energetically or physically okay so best isolate and make wise decisions moving forward a lot of them are in regret because they're meant to be there that's what they've manifested for themselves it's that same energy look five of cups is upset regret paired with the justice card that's karma that's how balance is restored bringing me back to the angel of balance doing their work okay <laughs> and this why is in the reverse and people not having a leg to stand on with a leg up in the reverse i'm telling you there are people who once upon a time had certain people's support a crutch i'm hearing punching bag maybe you were someone's punching bag they do not have that anymore it was ripped from them because they did not what heed a warning heed heed a calling they did not get on their divine path they didn't care to involve themselves it's all all the good stuff all the perks have been stripped okay that's what it's giving dang dang it's a lot the moon this could be happening oh look and you see how those dogs were howling this could be happening under your nose i mean there's a lot going on that we do not know of because the energies are bringing it out of people so if you see people acting like weird i'm also hearing the word road rage it's the energies doing this to people who maybe have hidden frustrations hidden wounds that are that have them like in despair thank god for my taurus moon y'all <laughs> i'm like Or what earth sign moon signs what's up or it's like <laughs> anyways i'm doing pretty okay like i know some people are having harder times than others but i'm feeling pretty okay <laughs> pretty okay pretty mellow very strange energy nine of cups wow prayers intentions why is the high priestess to the ten swords here someone almost feels like they screwed up their own manifestation it's like i secretly desire something but i feel defeated because my intuition knows i should have gone down that path it's like someone is waking up to their intuition pretty quickly it's like their soul is trying to connect to their brain it's time about the three of wands we have the death card a cycle has definitely closed i see a lot of grieving i see a lot of people upset with certain endings karmic relationships are probably having a hard time i'm hearing very low survival rate for karmic relationships which people might be upset with initially but that's actually a good thing i can't tell you the amount of readings i've seen where people are either broken up reflecting on the breakup abrupt endings left and right revelations shocking truths uh, i don't know exposures it's all here it's all here but it's for you to get redirected okay no. Tell me about the death card, major transformations, king of swords. I'm hearing someone's finally taking this soulmate stuff seriously, which I'm trying not to giggle. King of swords with the two of cups is like fine. The people I partner up with and who I choose to make these decisions on is really is important. Um yeah. 
some people say like the person you end up being with or you end up marrying is really really important because you could mold into that person's characteristics or personality or um, habits like because you're with them all the time you merge your energy with them of course it is important to be selective of who you choose to partner up with of course these things should be taken seriously whether intimately sexually emotionally physical commitment yes care about these things it's like newsflash i don't know what it is but people could be like very very intentional about who they choose to partner up with now it's like how about i put my thinking cap on and really make you know informed decisions king of swords style dang someone might also be very like bitter about a relationship yeah it's like i'm, I'm getting someone being very emotional like okay i shouldn't just make decisions based on what I think practically makes sense. I should make decisions on who I love. The King of Cups is about love. The King of Swords is about logic. It's having a beautiful blend because just because you love somebody doesn't mean that they're it. Do they love you too? Is it equal? Is there respect? Is there this, that, and the third, right? Because some people partner up with individuals for the wrong reasons and then they screw themselves over at a later date. I see somebody putting on their thinking cap but also connecting with their emotions someone is really 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 wanting a solid new beginning here with a soulmate they do now my question is who is this <laughs> king of water in their emotions wanting an ace of pentacles with a past life soulmate for a lot of you that's why i'm telling you it's like <laughs> it's giving the resurrection of past connections or past life connections in general yes because there's a karma here in terms of maybe somebody feels like they need to give and receive with a situation they once rejected four of cups i'm about this king of swords where are we at 26 minutes queen of pentacles someone is very dry towards an energy that they maybe don't consider the end all be all so i'm hearing i have a bone to pick with you somebody has a bone to pick with the person that they have their guards up with so there's a masculine collective who maybe initially initially gave a person a pedestal i'm seeing them being very dry this is like quite interesting it's like this king of swords is very like matter of fact with a, with a character here who i'm hearing thought they were it with the seven of wands there's defensiveness here yes there's something about the responsibility of being this person's match them being guarded about why is that why is the king of swords here towards this queen of pentacles the devil because it is a karmic attachment the seven of swords someone feels deceived you know when it's like you're supposed to get like what a gucci bag or i don't know the real chanel and you realize it's some i don't know mock version of it or walmart mar walmart version of what you thought you were gonna get yeah someone is realizing they were duped seven of swords to the devil is a devil's trick it's like, oh, you thought this was your husband. You thought this was your wife to be, but you've been duped. So this person is very stern because they now already know the truth. This is someone who's having a hard time reciprocating with the mock-up from the real deal. This is a copy. It's not the original. And the goat man's like, hey, hey, you fell for it. Here you go, bud. Ooh. Yeah, the hierophant is here. This is someone who could have gone to a contract with somebody to either supply them something. It's kind of like, well, sure, I will give and receive with you. I'm going to. But that's what taught this person to be more selective of who and what they choose to reciprocate with. If you don't fall for this one's tricks, you will never know how you'll never know the art of discernment. Someone's realizing that they are tethered with a responsibility they really don't want to have. So they're like bitter about it. But it's like, no, you once upon a time chose this avenue. You once upon a time chose the dupe. You chose the copycat. You chose the mock version of what you're really looking for. Or what you really once upon a time felt in your spirit. But chose not to entertain because either you didn't question it enough or, or were, were curious enough. Or you overly questioned it. Or you thought this was way too good to be true, right? 
Seven of Swords, Deceit. Yes, it was a lie of the Ten of Cups. It's not the real Ten of Cups. It's a dupe. Like, someone's here upset because now in balance being restored energetically, they realize what they invested in. Yeah. The Hierophant. For some, there are people here in strong contracts they can't just sever. For others of you, it's like good versus evil really in full effect. This is exposure of what was good versus what is evil, okay? Yeah, the wheel of karma being crooked. It's like you're going to see what you invested in, whether you were illusioned, disillusioned to it or not. Ace of Swords in the reverse. As I speak of disillusionment, this is an illusion. Ace of Swords in the reverse is a lie. Something could have been built on a lie, okay? Ooh, that's a heavy one. Yeah. Someone had their doubts about something, but they either committed to it in some way, shape, or form, pursued it, gave it a shot, and now they're finding out that something was a whole lie, a sham, I can't make it up. Ace of Swords in the reverse is a lack of discernment, the truth, no clarity, okay, confusion, delusion, lies. I'm hearing sheer lies. Whoa. There's karma for that too, I'm hearing. Yeah, the chariot. Somebody wants to move forward away from this now. Yeah, after feeling absolutely betrayed, again, a sham. Someone feels defeated because they've been lied to, because they believed somebody to be a certain way just to find out they were anything but that. And they're trying to move forward, but for number seven is like a spiritual lesson, but they feel so scorned. This is what is likely helping them grow, helping them feel elevated in their masculinity with the emperor. Yeah temperance angel you need to balance your energy out and grow up from this sham because you deceive yourself technically because again nobody forced this person to entertain the mock version of the divine feminine collective <laughs> okay nobody told them hey ignore your counterpart or hey don't entertain or hey don't learn don't elevate nothing i mean this energy of somebody who thought they could <laughs> Oh, but like this is really interesting they thought that they were getting the real deal by not doing the work and by it's like oh i'm getting divine feminine or i'm getting my my person's energy easy the easy way like i'm getting all of this i'm setting myself up for this that and the third like the universe is granting me this amazing person not having done the internal work and here they are investing in that. That was the devil's trick. It's like, yeah, the trick is you think this is the end all be all and you're not doing the internal work for it. And after the, them being but feeling betrayed, they're like, ah, let me go back to the drawing board and ask God these questions. Ask the divine, like, what am I getting wrong here? That's what they should have done before investing in this mock up version of the real deal because they were assigned the real deal. They had a counterpart. And I say had, and I wonder why I said had. Now this person feels completely duped, and then and only then do they grow up enough to say, hey, let me balance my energy out, let me do this the right way, let me invest the right way in the right things. Yeah, this person feels pressured and they've lost out in investing in the wrong things. The dupe, the mock version, I keep hearing, it's a copycat energy. This is somebody that mirrored the qualities of their person, but that was the trick, and they fell for it. So there were some kind of similarities that was a whole lie and they're finding that out and in that betrayal they move forward yeah i feel embarrassment here i feel like how could i have been so stupid that's why they're so stern and like matter of fact with whoever this is they've dealt with strength card their pride could have been tickled their ego could have been shot they need to learn to let go of their pride and ego and just move forward Three of Pentacles, they want to rebuild. Rebuild. Yeah. After being under judgment, those they also consider building with is under judgment. Okay. Yeah. This is someone who learned the hard way. Um, what else do we need to know for this collective? <laughs> Sacrifice, prayers, offering, spiritual cleanse, unexpected gift. The finale. It's over. Irreconcilable differences, separation. 
somebody might need to like give up something to be done with a situation yeah forgive and forget meeting halfway comprom pro compromise agreement settlement and a resolution it's like yeah you well if you want to move forward you need to agree to this blah 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 based on the choices you've made releasing mm -hmm. <laughs> I also see someone wanting to like let go of the past. That's very that's good. Don't stay stuck in the past. Somebody could have also gone to therapy recently. Good on you. We have remorseful, which is those howling dogs I hear every night, crying over you, drowning in sorrow, emotional roller coaster. This person needs to go through this. Whoever this energy is that is in regret that they did not question things. It's like I'm just getting this this person who's so upset that they weren't more interested or intentional about a connection that held great purpose in their life and it's only after it got ripped away they're asking the divine the questions like but well, why is this and why is that well it's like you never cared to like really invest your energy and time in it in the first place did you know you settled for a mock version thinking you were granted all that but not doing the work so this is someone who's like asking why certain things are happening around them not looking at the bigger picture of the lesson involved we're in a season where we are getting the consequences of what we chose to do in the past so this is someone who's now asking questions they never asked before they're curious to why certain things are happening i'm also hearing maybe someone feels like their prayers are not getting heard okay that's also what i'm hearing i heard that it's like someone who i feel like their prayers are, le are left unanswered this is someone who's really, 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 really upset with their own actions, to be honest, because maybe they want to blame it on someone else, but when they really look at themselves, they can't blame anyone but themselves. That's where the lesson resides. It's so easy to pin everything on others, but it's like you chose to give and receive with the things you chose to give and receive with. So this is where the lesson comes in, okay? mysterious intuitions illusions doubt and confusion i feel like things are clearing up here things are clearing up with a person and and the value of a situation this ring here this jewelry it says valuable one of a kind they're they're realizing that something was i'm hearing i'll never find that again i'll never find this again I'll never have that feeling again. Like someone's really going through it. Uh, it says, you're my sweet escape. Maybe someone was mostly a fantasy. I mean, I'm feeling a pursuing energy here with wanting to woo the collective energy. I see more so like a person trying to revitalize their love life. Are they open to that? This could be you collective. Maybe someone wants to go on vacation. Maybe you're going to meet someone while going on vacation. Yes, and there is riffraff in Karmic Field because these energies, it's like they're spiteful. I'm getting this vibe of like people who are dealing with each other, but they're scorned to have to either see each other, deal with each other, to be talking to each other. I'm just getting a very scorned energy. And it's like they want to be mad at the person they're stuck with for whatever reason. But they can't be but they're irritated that it's just blocking them from being with who they maybe now see the value in it's a very frustrated little bubble here that i really don't want to read in and it's like e stay over there <laughs> yes because they miss the person they actually want to be booed up with and it's like it's a mess y'all this collective is remorseful but there's a lesson in this there's a lesson in them being stuck with what they do not want which is the dupe and them missing the real deal so it's like i mean that's how people learn in life like we're down here to learn <laughs> okay we are down here to learn yeah i know you are my soulmate they know they know who the person is because there's anything but bliss in the situation they've decided to settle for and and a lot of them is like they're realizing oh man i was settling all this time i just didn't know it until things got rocky what can exactly it is what it is let's see what other messages do we have for the collective concern before i close this one out divine feminine 
attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party, interference. I'm getting, it fell right on top of the soulmate card. I'm getting new soulmates, attracting, flirting, dating, third party. I feel new soulmates are coming into the scene. Yes, because look at the twin flame card in the reverse. Remember how I said the yin and yang energy? For a lot of you, you have had like a potential counterpart. Maybe you feel a disconnect from them. Because I'm seeing this card in the reverse and I'm seeing third energies, third party energies. Maybe you're going to be introduced to someone new. So it would look like a third party to the counterpart you've been dealing with in this cycle. It's in the reverse. For some of you, you're going to realize that the, the higher vibrational soulmate is one that you are happy to deal with. Um, we'll see. Yeah, I'm look, look at this. I have engagement ring. We're in a season <laughs> where... People are wanting to be serious um, and grounding for the future. So for some, there could be an offer of commitment down the line, depending on where you're at in your relationship or depending on who you entertain. But I'm seeing a very committal energy um, swimming through the collective. So, hey, <laughs> it's like very committal. That King of Pentacles energy is a committal person not non-committal the committal energies are starting to bubble up so best look your best now <laughs> okay mm, let's see what else mm, that's an interesting card yeah cupid cupid is active have faith love is coming with not enough in the reverse maybe some of you are trying to like gain your confidence back Lack of confidence, self-sabotage. Some people are breaking this. Breaking this season of feeling like they're unworthy of love. Best do it now. Because <laughs> Cupid is activated. Yes. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Yes. Listen. Don't be all sappy at home. Just reflect in this season. Be open because Camille energies are being introduced. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing some blasts from the past might... Um, bubble up okay but it's not looking too shabby y'all i see some very remorseful energies what do we have to say about that high priestess yes they're remorseful because their intuition knows the truth now yeah they're waking up to their intuition a lot of these are like confused on what to do to regain that sense of happiness back in their life so the more remorseful energies are looking for the vitality back they're looking for the brightness back in their life it's kind of wild there are a lot of people here who are confused about their happiness but they're like confused on what can now bring them happiness feeling lost without like it's giving lost without you can't help myself i'm sick how does it feel to know that i love you baby i can't i can't tell me that you need me more <laughs> and how i make you feel sexy baby <laughs> i'm done isn't that robin sick i would love to sing for you guys what uh, love me like my birthday. I want it this way. I want it that way. I want it. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I'm just being cheeky, y'all. <laughs> I'm being cheeky. Ace of Pentacles. Listen. Spirit is saying just let go. Let God, okay, connect with your higher self because this new beginning is coming again. This could be a new lease on life. This could be you grounding yourself in a new career path or a commitment. Commitment, because the committal energy is here. Something you really wanted to have ground in your physical reality is coming. So again, put on your Sunday's best and put yourself out there. So that's what I have for you. If this, mm, never mind, I'm gonna grab one more deck. <laughs> Who am I kidding? one more unique gifts beautiful endless opportunities i'm telling you so many doors are opening up y'all are gonna be like whoa i could do this i could do that for some of you it is your gifts you guys could have been given new divine gifts like let's say your intuition has cracked up a notch you're more tapped in i'm seeing a lot of like interesting gifts here 
interesting gifts that are being downloaded into the collective and this is going to open up doors for you because i feel like the gifts are given to those who are very responsible with it like i see opportunities and blessings coming for it you see how these butterflies are all here you know i've been seeing butterflies all day every day it's like these gifts are given to those who have evolved butterflies are symbolic for evolution people who have evolved not only are they protected in this bubble but they have been given upgrades to just do their thing in this world so trust that very happy i grabbed this deck because a lot of you you're getting upgrades in your divine gifts and with this endless opportunities it's going to open up doors for you so just be grateful that you were exposed to this wave be happy that you are now coming out and spreading your wings and you know personally i can feel like i can share with y'all that about myself like i went from a very more slow season a more hermity season that i've shared with you guys in those years to really just <laughs> in the last few weeks everything has been going super fast and i know i'm not the only one because there are a lot of people who i try to talk to they're like oh my god i've been so busy oh my god my schedule has been insane oh my god and i'm just like so we're all like being propelled forward um, being challenged because we are prepared for this this is what you've been working on a lot of you guys have been growing internally and it's going to start showing externally so don't give up on yourself don't lose sight of what you want to manifest in your life accept the lessons digest them don't psych yourself out and just ground yourself enough for this to come in beautifully for you okay this is amazing like i see people just doing their thing they're being divinely protected and they're just you know fluttering about in their glory days okay it's giving glory days <laughs> you're gonna have new glory days beautiful energy let me split yes trust your innocence for a lot of you you want to renew your spirit you want to renew your vessel okay for me to split on this i've never seen this card trust your innocence for a lot of you, you need to trust where your inner child is guiding you to go okay that zest for life can be restored again but also trust your period of either celibacy, retreating your energy to regain that sense of like innocence back. Because I feel like a lot of people here just want to reset in every sense of the word. All right. You can do that at any given point. For a lot of you, you've been doing that already. And it's like, okay, this is giving me a, a blank canvas, a clean slate. The white is purity. Okay, trust also in those qualities within yourself. Don't let anybody take you out of character or pull you out of that side to you, okay? It's giving me like Bosa um, Lam Chi de Dios, which is the Lamb of God. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting that all of a sudden. Lamb of God. Like I'm seeing a little baby lamb in my mind's eye. That is beautiful. Good gosh. For some of you also, white flowers could be of significance. I know I shared... Um, a friend of mine she had like a protection bath that she does with white flowers i have yet to do it y'all um but again white flowers could be of significance she uses that bath and she resets her aura and cleans her energy from any density um, or external negativity okay whatever whatever you do to help protect your energy and just keep high vibing do it beautiful yeah home home is within very nice for a lot of you're also waking up to how you are home to you okay it's like well i don't need anybody else to make me feel whole and whoever i choose to partner up with next better also complete that sense of stability groundedness and be homey feeling to me and not threaten that right that's what i have for you this read resonated please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time bye